fortunate hot day today. It's currently 34, so uh, tough day at the office for these riders. Yeah, last year there was frost on the ground, and I think I raced in a jacket, undershirt, all the gear. This year it's uh, 35 degrees, and uh, very different. Very different. Uh, they went around for five hours. The track was amazing today. Because of that rain, it was really hard packed and very quick. Uh, it was a 14k loop. It's a little bit shorter than last year but uh, it made for some great racing. We saw some lap times come in under 40 minutes and most people got around in that hour. Jason English, of course, is leading the series. Uh, he comes through with, uh, I think, 80 points or more, but uh, there's three people chasing his tail. So, um, Sean, Andrew and Edward are the, the three that are nipping. And if they win today, um, it would get them right up there through uh, to Jason. I, I think it's gonna come down to Orange. We had Jace English actually uh, had a mechanical fail. Uh, he broke his derailleur on the first lap, so that really sp uh, threw a spanner in the works. Race started um, as per prediction with Sean Lewis charging off the front to try and set the pace. Um, after about 2Ks, I'd ridden past him um, up one of the first climbs, feeling pretty good. I knew I was going to have to stop probably after the first lap and put a bit of more air up on my front tyre. Um, Probably half a kilometre after that, I noticed sort of a bit of a, a clicking noise happening on my chain. I thought that was a bit unusual, whether it was a front chain ring or something loose. Um, I thought I'd you know, check it out once I stopped it after the transition to pump the tyre up. Um, but my bike didn't last that long. I probably only made about 4Ks in the first lap. Sean Lewis jumped up and seized that opportunity. So uh, he led. Uh, Edward McDonald um, was following him very closely right through to the last few laps and only just fell off by a minute or two. Um, and of course uh, Andrew Lloyd uh, from Newcastle has been running a very consistent race throughout the series. I think he's seated third and fourth in every race. Um, so he finished really strong today in third points and that consistency of points across the field is really going to help him out for Orange in the last round of the Evo Cities. Hard out there, hot, dry, dusty. Um, a pretty brutal course, rocky as well. So, in the ladies, in the series, Liz is uh, leading the women's open, um, and Elise is coming in close second. So those two are really going to be punching out today. Um, but we actually had a, a rego of Eliza Quant, and she's super quick. Um, so I'm thinking she's definitely going to get up today. Jason English had to ride Dan's bike, so therefore Dan and I are now sharing one bike and hoping that's all going well, so yeah. It's very hot, very rugged out there. Um, we're to and from with the other girls out there, the Soffit Toom girls. Um, I last, when I come in, I think they're three minutes ahead of us. So one more lap to go. Hot, hard, fast racing. Um, I had a really good race today with Sean Lewis. Um, really close, a little bit of Jason English running there at the start. And, um, the trials are fantastic, very dry, very dusty, uh, which is a miracle after a really wet winter. Um, and the weather wasn't too bad for probably the first couple of hours and it got a bit warm. Yeah, really tough day. Really happy to come away with the wind and uh, just really happy to get to the finish line, to be honest. Yeah, this year I enjoyed the course a lot more than last year. I think Jason beat me last year out here. Um, so, yeah, this year I was really able to make good use of the descents and, yeah, still got the drop of seat post on, which I'm loving, so 
you know, take a little bit of time and all those little descents and yeah, make the guys chase back on the climbs and it seems to work okay today. Well, Sean has this tactic that we've uh, nicknamed enduro in where he hits the descents really hard and fast and he's a brilliant descender. So he opens these little gaps in the descents, maybe five, maybe 10 seconds here and there. And every time you have to bridge across, you burn a little bit more energy and he sits up and takes it a bit more easy. So over the course of a few hours, it eventually just becomes a bridge too far to get back across. And uh, that kind of happened to me. He had a bit of bad luck with a flat and I sort of got to the front and had a bit of a go and then he bridged back to me pretty easily. Uh, ooh, this could be a hard finish. Obviously had a bit critical today, so it was a disappointing. Well done, Eliza. Congratulations. Eliza Kwan just came out and really blitzed the field. She came 11th overall, including all the teams and men's. Um, so that was such a strong finish by her. Um, she was probably five minutes quicker than uh, Liz and Elise that are actually in the series and, and racing. So second place we saw Liz. Uh, she set the tone early and got a few minutes out on Elise. It was a good start. Just sort of let the boys um, take off pretty fast um, through the first tourney bits. Um, strategy... I know Liz is just still recovering from the 24 um, that she won, so um, just sort of wanted to race my own race today and uh, had a few people to play with, um, chopping and changing, but um, yeah, it was a good day out. Yeah, second again at this track, so Eliza had a really good race today and um, I guess what makes this series a, a good series, it goes for so long that everyone comes in at different form levels and she was just too good today. Five out of five, pretty happy. Uh, they're seriously hard on it wins though. It was a great course, but the, the heat was brutal. We had a really strong representative from the uh, from the Dubbo in the teams. They're going to compete well in all categories, in uh, especially in the uh, the men's opens. They've got a, a few guys there in their the 30s that have um, got a great deal of track knowledge, and also um, I think their pairs and their teams are going to be strong today in the Dubbo club. Thank you. And the series goes to its grand final, the seventh round in Orange, on the 5th of February. So um, the riders are going to have a great deal of rest and um, it's going to be a cracking final round. Uh, the points where they stand at the moment, um, especially in our team events, are very close. So a lot of it's going to come down. I, I think probably 90% of the categories are coming down to Orange now. So the last race in Orange is going to be yeah, the deciding one for the series. So there'll be hammer and tongs out there. And, um, I haven't raced at Orange yet, so pretty excited about it. I've heard the tracks are fast and pretty flowy, so yeah, looking forward to a good battle.